Thomas and the Railway Games, Part 2. Written and told by Kiefer Adams. Thomas went into a small siding in York. Percy had just lost the tug of war to Seamus, the single Stirling engine. And James had earlier lost the shunting challenge to Boxhill, Stepney's brother. As Thomas sat in the siding dreading the next events, he heard a voice. I thought I recognised you. You're Thomas the tank engine, aren't you? Thomas was surprised. Next to him was a tender engine with a large central driving wheel. Who are you? Thomas asked. I'm Iron Duke, replied the engine. Are you taking part in the events? asked Thomas. No, I'm just watching from the sidelines, replied Iron Duke. My wheels are too big for the events anyway. But I'm a little worried for your big blue friend. Gordon, asked Thomas. Why? Who's he going up against? Iron Duke sighed. Well, let's just say she's the most popular addition to the museum. Thomas could only imagine. The next event was a relay race to York Station and back again. Gordon was going to take part in this event, but he soon found out who he was going up against. Well, 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 exclaimed Mallard as she pulled smugly up beside Gordon. So, come to take away my record after your brother lost it to me? Gordon looked away. It's no use ignoring me, darling, Mallard grinned. I've got this race in the bag, and Mallard... Her free chime whistle blazing to the echo, puffed smugly away. I'll see you at the start line, Gordon, said Mallard. I'm looking forward to every single moment of our race. Gordon groaned. I wish I was doing Thomas's event, he muttered. Before long, everything was ready. Gordon and Mallard were lined up side by side at the start line with the railway games official ready to wave his flag. Gordon took a deep breath and braced himself for what would come. The flag waved, the whistle sounded, and the two engines were off. James, Percy, Thomas and Stepney were cheering to the echo as Gordon and Mallard thundered down the line. Mallard was quite a fast engine, and Gordon had difficulty keeping up. You'll be feeling the wisps of my smoke soon, darling, Mallard called as they reached the halfway stage. <sighs> Don't bet on it, sweetheart, panted Gordon as he tried to catch up. York Station soon came into view. Mallard arrived first and braced herself for the journey back. Ta-ta, she grinned and darted back up the line. Oh, no, you don't, said Gordon, and he was soon in hot pursuit. The engines of both the Fat Controllers Railway and the museum collection were waiting anxiously at the finish line. Come on, Gordon, groaned James. You've got this. I don't think he has, whimpered Percy. Look. And sure enough, Mallard glided across the finish line, whistle blazing and feeling very pleased with herself. By the time Gordon finally arrived, he was red in the face and had missed the Mallard's grand celebration. This made Thomas even more worried, as his event was next. Let's face it, groaned Percy later that day. We've lost. But I've still got my event to do, said Thomas. We might as well just go home before it starts, sighed Percy. I've lost, Gordon's lost, James has lost. Thomas looked rather concerned. Percy, it's not always about winning the competition. It's the participation that matters. Yes, you've all lost your events, but you did very well. Thomas is right, Percy, agreed his driver. We mustn't let a loss get the better of us. You wouldn't be saying that if you'd seen who Thomas is going up against, grumbled Percy. Who? Well... Just before Gordon's race, I saw Mallard talking to this green engine. I think he's called Green Arrow. He won't be a problem with me, said Thomas. 
Thomas's event was almost similar to Gordon's. He and Green Arrow would be given a coach each filled with important people. They would take them up to Scarborough, and the first engine to finish the event was the winner and conclude the Railway Games. Thomas was nervous when he met Green Arrow at the start line. It was all down to this, as the final event of the Railway Games was about to go underway. For one final time, the Railway Games official stood before the two engines. Thomas and Green Arrow waited with bated breath. The official waved his flag and blew his whistle and the two engines were off. Green Arrow thundered down the line at a tremendous speed, but Thomas was able to catch up. Gordon, James, Percy, Stepney and the Fat Controller ruptured in cheers as Thomas darted down the line. At first, all went well and the two engines were neck and neck. They brought their visitors to Scarborough and then made their way back to claim the race. But on the way back, there was trouble. One minute, Thomas and Green Arrow were practically level with each other. The next, there was a loud bang, and Green Arrow started to slow down. Goodness me, he exclaimed, what's happened? Your safety valve's gone, said his driver. And before long, Green Arrow came to a sudden stop. Thomas knew exactly what to do. What do you think you're doing? Green Arrow ordered, as Thomas first coupled his coach to Green Arrow, and then coupled in front of the engine. There's no way I'm finishing this race alone, said Thomas, and he started to pick up speed. Both engines, coaches and Green Arrow were heavy, but Thomas didn't want to give up. At the finish line, engines and staff alike waited with anticipation. Thomas came panting into view with Green Arrow in tow, and soon everyone figured out what had happened. They cheered and ruptured as Thomas crossed the finish line first, tired but happy. The Fat Controller was most proud, although Thomas felt rather terrible. He had forfeited his win to help Green Arrow. That evening, Engines and staff alike gathered around at the main shed of the National Railway Museum to celebrate the conclusion of the Railway Games. Prizes were given out to the winners, mostly a rosette with a golden engine on it. As Gordon, James and Percy came second in their competitions, they were given blue rosettes and huge praise by the museum manager. Thomas felt rather disappointed until he was approached by the Fat Controller and the Museum Director. "'What's going on?' said Thomas. "'Thomas,' said the Museum Director, "'I wanted to personally thank you for helping Green Arrow in your race. "'Your act of heroism showed great sportsmanship at the Railway Games. "'Your Controller and I have both agreed that you deserve this.' "'Thomas was delighted.' It was the winning plaque for the winner of the Railway Games. Well done, Thomas, said the Fat Controller. I'm very proud of you. He turned to Percy, James and Gordon. I'm also proud of the three of you for contributing and taking part in this incredible event. Before long, it was all over. The following day, James, Gordon, Percy and Thomas returned to the island of Sodor. Stepney headed back to the Bluebell Railway and asked to give his best wishes to the engines of Sodor when the four left. Thomas was the happiest of all. He and the other engines would certainly never forget their contribution and sportsmanship at the Railway Games in York. <laughs>